Two, Sean. No, it's good. I like it. Oh, I like it. We test together. Well, and then you have it together for you yet? That's what I told. No, I oh, told them just together. Real quick. All right, guys. We're back on this Camaro Twin Pro Mod 88. Got a bunch of parts in. Shane was able to pick up a good old 12 foot stick and some four inch aluminum tube for me. Need that for exhaust and boost pipes. Gotta do a couple little pie cuts, make a couple bends. You now make the exhaust turn to go out those holes right there. And we also gotta get this four inch here, route it up. Man, let me show you better. Route it up and through here and up, bloop, in there. We still gotta build our mounts for the turbos as well. But we're gonna go ahead and get this boost pipe going now. So we're gonna come from here up. Yeah. Yeah, those are these pieces will work. A little bit of finessing. So let's go ahead and fold the 90 down on the bottom V band. And then it should be easier to play with from there. Building Promont Camaros. Bada boom! All right, got that all welded up. Let that cool off, keep on playing with it. Well, it's all cooled down and let's get this put on here and see if we can get the next piece all attached. Got that marked out, so now we can weld that up. And we can also probably measure the exact distance of our alpha lock and I can cut that distance out and we can go ahead and weld these flanges on and that'll be the Y section of three inch and we're moving on to the four inch right after that. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to measure the overall distance from here to here because we need to cut that out of this straight right here to make up for where that's going because we had it butt up right end to end. The one side is gonna get welded on here like this, boom. Alpha lock. Just like that. And the other side will get welded on once that distance is removed. So let's measure that and get that cut out. All right, so the next thing I need to do is get this LPS flange welded onto here like this. And it sits in the car up like that. And I want one of my locked holes facing upwards so it's easily visible from the car so we know that it's positively locked. So now that I got that marked there, I'm gonna go ahead and give it that index mark. Cause this side I can actually just take the coupler off. There we go. Now I can just weld that on lined up with my index mark. It's gonna be exactly where I want it. All right. Well, one half of that alpha lock coupler's all welded inside and out. All right. So the next step we have now, is we need to cut out the thickness of an alpha lock coupler out of this piece of pipe here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my Trust the old dial calipers. Zero. We're gonna go ahead and measure inside step of inside step of the pipe receivers. I'll go ahead and just scribe that line on there. So now it's a little, it's a little hard to see because it's on the silver. So I'll go ahead and put a black line over it and then rescribe it. Then oh. I go and slip like a goof. All right. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but now I got a scribed line right there of what I need to cut off. So I'm gonna run over to the bandsaw real quick and hack that off. Well, that stuff's all welded up. So let's go ahead and test up this uh, boost Y pipe and see how it fits. Oh, still warm. 
There we go. <laughs> That's tight. <laughs> yeah, it came out nice. All right. There we go. We got two turbos bringing boost together into one pipe now. Oh yeah. Two turbos ready to feed this motor. Engine. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so. Moving right along, now we'll start building this four inch piece to come up here. We're gonna replace this V-band here with a nice old alpha lock. Today we're gonna be getting these turbos mounted with some 5 8 chromoly tubing. We have some rod ends with some 5 16 times already put together and bolted to it. And I literally just need to bend some tube and weld it up to get these things mounted. So there's one here, there's one on the underside. It's really hard to see, I don't know. Maybe the camera can show you. It's somewhere down there. I don't know, it's dark. But there's one more down there. I'm gonna put two on each turbo. So this one will have one right here and right here. We're also gonna do the exhaust. I got the old exhaust flanges cleaned up because they were aluminum and they went from the five inch V-band tapered down to the four inch. So I'm gonna cut a couple pie cuts. Bloop, bloop. And then it'll go straight out those holes for both sides, nice and cool. Then we just got to make an aluminum O2 bung, it has some aluminum stock. And then we're also gonna make a couple pie cuts here, get this bend up. We're gonna place this with an alpha lock. So let's see if we can't knock this out today because I am excited to get this build Done and looking nice and sexy. And I took a piece of 5 8 chromoly. This is going to go through here. Like so. And that's going to attach to the top of these rails here. And I'm going to use some tube that this slips in too tightly. And that'll get welded to the front bar here, and then I'll drill pinning holes so this bar is still removable so if they need to get the turbos out of there the engine or anything this bar that's going to support the turbos will be removable just got to cut a couple sleeve ends here real quick out of some three-quarter tube weld that on and get it pinned out all right so i got a couple little pieces here it ended up being some seven eighths heavy wall and it goes ahead and slips over this 5 8 real nice and it's nice and snug so it don't wobble around and stuff. And what we're going to do is it's going to get welded to this upper support like that. And then we'll drill a hole so a bolt goes through it so that 5 8 tube will still be removable and only that little 7 8 snub will be left. Paint removed. Clean and ready for welding. Cruising right along now. So yeah, that'll sit back nice and tight like that. Next I'll drill holes through here, and then we'll drop some bolts in there and I'll keep it where it's at. And then we'll send some stubs down to the turbos. I got the center support all welded to the top and tacked down to a saddle strap plate down here on the lower cross member. Got two mounts all welded over here for this turbo. Got one over here. I still need to put one more. Yeah, but we're gonna move on to some exhaust and some boost pipe. Whew. So yep, get that exhaust move along. Oh. Hey, Brent. I was just working away, you know. Hey, that's looking good. Dang. Did you just make all this, too? Yeah. Ooh. Yep, the turbo mount rack. Okay. So, yeah, it's got a few Himes and stuff like that. 
That's that cool. bolt to the housings. The bottom one's going to saddle strap to the lower cross member, so it's all removable, so it's not in their way. Oh, that's cool. So you just pull a couple pins, pull those saddles, and then this whole thing comes off. Correct. Well, and then the bolts off the turbo housings, but yeah. Awesome, man. Good work. Yeah, so now that I got the turbos hanging happy, now I can start exhaust and get this other boost pipe knocked out. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Could be set to jet. Woo! Try to make that Tomorrow. Race, man. Tomorrow. is coming up quick. Oh yeah. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to have this thing done. So That'd that's awesome. my goal because next week I got got it's Derek's to hammer on. Oh, it's gonna be a wild week, man. Yeah, I got like got three days to knock out a turbo manifold and up pipes. And, whew. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. <laughs> you got this, Doc. This is very cool. Awesome. Glad you like it. I do. All right. Well, I said we got to make some pie cuts, right? Well. Time to make some pie. So up here I got my degrees. And for my pies, I mean, you gotta take 90 degrees and then however many sections you want, you divide that 90 by those sections. You take that number and divide it by two because it's two pieces for each angle. If you think about 90, it's three thirties, you know, and half a 30 is 15. So 15 is a pretty good number for, you know, pie cuts. But, like I said, we gotta divide that by two, so seven and a half is what I like to do a lot of my pies at. So, we're gonna go ahead and set this up at seven and a half, and then we'll start cutting some pie. The other thing I also do is I draw a line down it. I mean, it's not 100% square, but it's just a reference point for indexing. And I also made one about 180 degrees out on the other side. The reason is because I want to, I have to keep reversing the pipe 180 degrees. So I make those pies facing inwards to make it like a slice of pie. Otherwise it's just gonna be like a uh, parallelogram or something like that, you know? All right. I just got done cutting those all up. So I have eight of them dedicated for the boost pipe bend. We got two of them for the exhaust, and then I also have two that have a seven and a half degree and then a just a straight. So that should be enough for what we need to get this project done. It's getting late, but that's a good start to get me started first thing in the morning to really just knock this thing out. Back at it again. It's that day. So we're gonna try to have this thing done today. So last night we got all the turbo mount done. We got all the braces on the turbos down under here. A little bit ago while I was waiting for a memory card, I also uh, got this brace all knocked out real quick. That's what holds the cable for the fuel pump drive. It comes off the snout of the cam. It goes back to wherever the fuel pump may be in the back. But in the meantime, we're gonna get to aluminum. So first, we're gonna start with the boost pipe. Get that all knocked out real quick. And then we'll get these two quick little exhaust trunks knocked out, so. Yeah, let's get to it. Got a bunch of pies tacked together. We got just a small gap here to close. Looks like it'll probably be one more pie, you know, a half pie with straight to a piece of straight. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab a couple pieces and tape measure and get this last piece cut. Woo! all tacked I still gotta weld it it's a lot of weld but it'll go quick yeah that looks good though real smooth and organic huh yeah yeah i'm working tomorrow too so crazy sean never works saturdays 
being race like. It was awesome. Trucking on through it though. Yeah, man. Aluminum exhaust. It's right behind this. Can't wait to see it. Here's one for the passenger side. All welded up. Woohoo! Here's the driver side one. Yeah. As soon as this cools, I'll bolt it in. And then we'll call it a night. So yeah. Oh yeah. All right, guys. Well, it's 1.40 a.m. and I am way beat. And I got both exhausts done with the O2 sensor in it. Oh yeah. So tomorrow, all I got left is this wastegate, the two dump tubes, and two blow off valves. Tear it apart, paint it, put it back together, and it's done. A few hours sleep, good hot shower, couple hour with the kiddos, it was wonderful. Well now I'm renewed, ready to get back at it, and here's what we got left. We got a wastegate we still need to mount. We got blow off valve flanges, which should be here today. And if they're not here soon enough, I will just cut the old ones out and reuse them. Not the biggest fan of doing so, but will do if need be. So, got that, and then this wastegate and we need to build just two little 90 dump tubes or just a little under a 90 probably like a 70 and then the turbo rack needs to come back off so we can weld all the undersides and backsides i couldn't get to and we'll also paint that while it is out and then reassemble so that is what is on today's to-do list so let's get to it Alrighty, well, there's the turbo rack, all welded up. I'm just gonna scuff it up real quick, clean it off, throw a coat of paint on it, and then it's ready for reassembly, and we're gonna get on to that wastegate. Oh yeah. All right, I got the whole hot side all bolted in. Actually looks really cool. I dig this build. freaking bolt thing hitting the back of the tube. Oh. So I just rotate it and then it all goes together like butter. Like, look. Drew off. On. Oh, I'll have to let him know that. Well, Tom, Jamie, what do you guys think? I love it. It's awesome. Turned out pretty good. Super Sean's awesome. craftsmanship is just shining through. Pretty epic, brother. It's awesome. Yes. So, Sean got the aluminum exhaust done. He got the boost pipes done. 
He got both waste gates on. Little bracket here for the cable drive. Keeps it away from the belt. Got the blow off valves on. Those turned out good. And then this whole sub, this whole structure right here to hang the turbos and keep them mounted. Keep stuff from cracking. This thing's looking pretty awesome, man. Yeah. Almost Smoke like he knew what he was doing. Too. Yeah, the blankets, the ballistic blankets and yeah. ballistic housings and all the stuff. Clamp. Yeah. The Alpha Lock. The Alpha Lock clamps. These clamps really are nice, oh, man. They make life and just... I know in the video we struggled earlier, but we just had to get everything lined up. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, so, so it it's funny you said that. What, what happened was is the bracket... Was. Yeah, the bracket for the blowdown on the wastegate, the clamp... The nut was where the boost pipe was, oh, so, so it just, it just had everything started. shifted over. See, and that's all part of just when you mock stuff up. You yeah. just got to get it in the right place. Yep, that's but it. But these literally just... Yeah. On and off So it's super nice and super easy to service. Yeah. So you shouldn't have any yeah, problems. Jason said, you know, we got to get to our plugs right here a lot. You know, it's not hard to just pop this pipe off and you can get right there. Yeah, you can get so, right to the plugs. It wouldn't be a bad idea later down the road to put an alpha lock here. So maybe you could just pop this section out. Yeah. So. Not a bad plan. There's always room for improvement though. Yeah. You yeah, you, you grow with your race cars, that's for sure. Yeah. It's never easy. But it looks awesome. I mean, you look at these turbos, just, they are ready to, I think Sean earlier said they eat birds or chipmunks. He's got the bird stopper going together right now. I said eagles. And now it's eagles. You eat a pair of eagles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cool though. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Yep. Sean is wrapping this thing up. Jason's gonna go ahead and take it home. And then uh, what? We'll, we'll have it at the PSCA race next weekend. And we'll throw cameras on it and we'll see how it does. And uh, see if he can't beat his best time ever, which is a 470, 470 on, the on the mountain. So, we can go 450s or better <laughs> on a mission. And we appreciate Atlas Performance for all the help they've given us throughout the years. When we were down, they gave us a dyno and they really hooked us up and Jason's like a good brother of mine. So we appreciated the, you know, being able to have the project and support them as well. So right on. So check them out at Atlas Performance in uh, Love, out of Loveland, Colorado. He's always building some crazy monster. So that'll do it for this episode. Appreciate you guys watching and stay tuned. And then show enough, sitting right above it, show enough. <laughs> We're all pretty excited to get this thing going too. We are just backed up on customer client cars. So getting to our own stuff has been a challenge. Cause you know, it doesn't always pay the bills. But we sure enjoy it. And we keep tinkering on it as we go. Hopefully soon we get the transmission going and uh, wiring harness on show enough. And then we just run through the motor and together I don't you know I'm just talking <laughs> then we go fast then we go fast yeah <laughs> bring some rubber bring some rubber show enough oh man I almost hit you in the face <laughs> <laughs> I almost knocked your teeth out I went well, I saw it coming no I was like ah <laughs> when you read it, I you're think gonna I saw you. About that, it's gonna startle you yeah, again. Yeah, I see those hairs. <laughs> Bro, wait till you see the snake footage. <laughs> <laughs>